I have a unique view of Elton because I knew him when I was a kid. Um, he's sort of always been around in my life. My father had a studio as a monster in the Caribbean, and Elton actually spent a lot of time there. So in my whole days as a kid, and I spent time living there, he was, he was there and present. Always very kind, always very generous. So he's always been uh, incredibly kind to me, and, uh, and he's just generous with musicians and young musicians, as I was then. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, my, my father passed away, and... And he came to the memorial service and hugged me. And and so I have this, not a unique perspective, but a very personal perspective of Elton. I think the great thing about Elton is that he is, he is a true artist. And he wants people to expand on his work. He wants interpretations done. I mean, he's done, he's sung these songs countless times. You know, he's constantly writing new, new songs, but he's, you know, think about Tiny Dancer or Your Song or... Goodbye, Yellow Road. He's sung them so many times and heard them over again. I think it's probably refreshing for him to have a new interpretation. I know Matthew Vaughan, who's one of the producers on the project, because actually we were at school together. And uh, I worked on the Kingsman films a little bit, diff scenes and doing music and mixing for that. And Matthew said, you know, uh, quite early on, I mean, a few years, two years ago, do you want to get involved in this Rocket Man project? I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. And I read the script, and then I met Dexter. I, th I think I may have met Taryn before Dexter. And we sort of all got together a while back, and it was a very sort of um, cottage industry. Sort of, you know, and here we are now with, you know, surrounded by cameras and recording everything, but it was, a, it was how do we approach this way? And that really appeals to me, because you have to, you can't take things, things lightly. You don't walk in, you don't turn on a light, and it all happens. <laughs> We're not Elton John. You know, you have to... Um, you have to work with each other and understand each other, and that's what, and that's been the satisfying thing of this project is that that realization that we have to reach, we have to satisfy what Elton really is uh, musically and dramatically, and it's been a it's been a journey. Matthew Vaughan and then Dexter said to me, when we when the music starts, we want to go somewhere else. You know, I think you know Matthew really early on said, I want everything to fly up in the air when the songs start. You know, it's that thing. It's not, we're not rooting the songs down. Um, and that's hugely appealing to me because it gives you scope. It gives you vision to start playing around and playing with things and thinking about how do we address things and, and how musically we can be challenged. And, and it gives you a reason to play around with Elton's music as well. Um, to try and explain to people uh, with the movie, that the, the songs are kind of the score of the movie in a way. They really are. They're the heartbeat. I mean, there's a wonderful score as well, but they're the kind of heartbeat of what happens. And once the song starts, almost all bets are off. It's like this, it's this other world opens up to us. Taryn's a remarkable human being um, in the fact that I've never known anyone, actually I've never known a singer who can dedicate themselves so much to, to the process, to understanding what you need to do and at the same time realizing there needs to be heart inside it. You, know, you can take the boy out of Wales, but you know, the Welsh race are great singers. And I knew he could sing. You know, when I first met him, I, you know, I, I, I'd heard him in sing. My kids watched sing and um, I even made a joke about, you know, you don't have to sing with a monkey suit on. He didn't even find it slightly funny. But the raw material I had to work with on this movie was, I don't think there's anyone in the world who could play Elton. I think, I think it's Taron's role. And you know, we did a test um, actually, a year and a half ago, that's how long we've been together doing it, we did a test where he sang your song and Don't Let the, Don't Let the Sun Go Down On Me. Um, actually, to Elton's original tracks. And, you know, we worked together and we, and we filmed it. And Elton said, I don't think I've ever heard anyone cover my songs better than Taron. I didn't know Dexter before we started working on this project together. And I knew of him and I'd loved his films. I met him and instantly I realized here's a man who's completely open and just a really good laugh and just passionate. He's a sort of, he's a director that's, that obviously was a really good actor and is a really good actor. So he can, he can um, direct actors very well, but he also has a sensitive side towards music as well and musicians and a respect for music. And apart from us, he's got a really good sense of humor. So we sort of get banned from being together at certain times because we just have a laugh together. But He's just become someone that I never, ever spend time with him 
and regret spending time with him. Um, and he brings so much energy to a project. It makes it not like work. You know, being on set was not like work and we generally, you know, that's what this is about. It's about how much energy you put into something and, uh, and he gives it everything.